Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you some of my Windows operating system tips and tricks I acquired over the years. I will be demonstrating this in the Windows 10 OS version. Have you ever wondered how the tech professionals launch different applications using shortcut commands on their keyboard? Well, you came to the right place. Let's get going. The first one I will be demonstrating is how to open the calculator app using the run dialog box. Hold down the Windows key plus R will bring in this run dialog box. Here you will simply type calc, hit enter, and this will launch the calculator app. Next, how to open the notepad app. Same concept, window R and type in notepad. And here is a blank notepad. Next, how to open the WordPad app. Window R and type in the word write. Click OK. This will launch a blank WordPad. And you can start editing. This is a simple document editor. It is not as powerful as Microsoft Office Word document editor, but this will get the job done for some simple tasks you have. Next, how to quickly open the control panel using the run dialog. Window R and type control. Click OK or enter key, this will bring the control panel. A side note on the control panel. Microsoft is moving slowly away from the control panel and is integrating slash transitioning the functionality into the Windows settings app. Did you know that Windows 10 has a on-screen keyboard? In order to launch that, we will hold down the Win R and type OSK for on screen keyboard. Click OK. This will launch this on screen keyboard. If we do Notepad, let me zoom in. You can start typing stuff here. As I'm clicking with my mouse, you can see it's typing different things as I'm pressing. This is useful if your keyboard starts malfunctioning and you need to type up something or whatever the reason may be. Know that a on-screen keyboard is available for you. Don't save, close. Next, how to quickly open the Windows Settings app. Here, I will simply hold down my Windows key and press the letter I. This will open the Settings app. Next, how to quickly open the File Explorer. Windows key plus the letter E. This will open File Explorer. Next, I will demonstrate how to minimize multiple windows. Let me stage this. One, two. So you can see I have, I have three different windows open. And if you want to minimize all of these window, all of these active windows there's two ways you can hold down the windows key plus the letter m to minimize window m this will minimize that or you can let me bring back those this time i'm also going to bring back the calculator notepad and what else did i have 
I believe I had a file explorer. The next one is a Windows D, and that means to show the desktop. So if I hold down Windows D, this will bring back, this will minimize all of those active windows. A nice feature about the Windows D that you can restore back those windows if you haven't launched another application. Since I didn't, I'm going to hit Windows D and all of my documents are back at full display. How to lock your PC? The way I use it is I hit the Windows key plus the letter L. In this case, I will not do that because it may interrupt the recording. But know that if you hold down the window key and the letter L, it will lock your station. Another one is a useful one. How to go to the address bar of a file explorer. So here is, let me clean up this. So here is a Windows file explorer and I can go with the mouse and click here to the address bar or you can use Alt plus D. So Alt D will do the same thing. It will go to the highlighted address bar and you can start typing different paths. Did you ever wonder how you can create a new folder in File Explorer? There are multiple ways, but the easiest way is to hold down Control, Shift, and the letter N. So Control, Shift, N. You can see it created a new folder and it's waiting for me to type in a name. One, two, and so on. Next. Let me show you how to rename a folder or a file using the keyboard. In this case, I'll highlight the folder named 2 and I will simply press the F2 key. This will go into the rename mode and I will rename this to folder number 3. And this also works in any different text documents. Test. So I want to rename the test.txt. Highlight the text, the test file, hit F2. That's the magic key, F2. Hello there. And this will rename the file. I hope you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more tips and tricks down the road. Thank you for watching.